Hello YouTube, this is another video about one of my old computers. This is an uh, Asus K7 Terminator. This computer was originally sold as a barebone system. Uh, I believe it has an AMD processor inside it and uh, maybe 256 megabytes of RAM. Uh, but we'll see that if I can uh, get it to power up. Uh, I haven't used it in maybe a year or so and uh, I don't know if it's still functional. The computer was originally installed with Windows 2000 but I believe uh, at the moment it's installed with Linux Kubuntu. I have also had uh, Windows XP on it but it didn't run very well as uh, it only have, I believe, 256 megabytes of RAM. And here we have uh, the back side, where you can see the connectors for mou mouse, keyboard, VGA, uh, parallel port, and COM, and uh, Ethernet and USB, probably USB 1.1. I've also installed an old sound card on this as uh, the inbuilt sound uh, had some issues with Linux. Um, but that's enough for now. I think I'll try and hook it on and see it, if it's still running. Alright, moment of truth. Let's see if there's still any life in this old machine. Yes, there is something. As you can hear, uh, the fans uh, definitely haven't been running for a while. They are quite noisy. Well, something is happening. The hard drive is working very hard, but uh, I don't seem to get, to get anything on the screen. Well, Linux seems to be uh, doing something. Well, press F to attempt to fix errors. Alright, we'll try that. Continue to wait <coughs> or press S to skip mounting or M for manual recovery. Alright, we'll try skipping. Shaking drive for errors. The processor is an Atlon XP1700 and uh, as you can see, I think it's got uh, 300 and 76,000 in memory. Alright, I'll try and power it up once more. See if I'll get any further than last time. This uh, Lubuntu <coughs> isn't very happy right now. Um, maybe I'll try and turn it off again. Well, since uh, Lubuntu wasn't very keen of working, <laughs> and to be honest, I never quite liked it anyway, I think I'll try and install another operating system on this computer. But first I'll have to do a little bit of upgrading. I have this old uh, DVD burner that I'll put in. And then I've also acquired some uh, new ramps. Um, let's see. They're packaged quite well. Uh, 512 megabytes PC 133. I've got two modules because, uh, according to the specifications, this uh, machine can support a maximum of one gigabyte of RAM and uh, since uh, these, these were actually, actually very cheap I think I bought, bought them for ten dollars shipped directly from China so um, time, time, will, uh, time has been on my side uh, because I can remember when uh, these uh, modules were actually quite expensive but uh, I'll try and open the machine and see if we can put this in well now I've got the lid off 
and as you can see this uh, machine has a very special form factor um, it's quite a unique design this you pivot this uh, section out as I'll show you later and then you can uh, access the motherboard but in order to do, do this you have to uh, screw screw off uh, the AC power inlet um, I'll turn off the camera and uh, then you can see when I've done it alright here you can see uh, <coughs> you drive the drives are mounted on this hinge and uh, when you uh, lift it, it a little bit up you can uh, push it aside so you have uh, now access to the motherboard alright I've got the old RAMs out and as you can see it's a 256 megabyte module and a 128 module that was in here and uh, here we have the new uh, no name Chinese PC 133 RAMs installed <laughs> I think it will be very inter interesting to see if they actually work uh, also when I've got the case open you can now see here uh, the Terminator case manufactured in 2001 and my next task will be to uh, take out this old uh, CD-ROM drive and put in the DVD burner now I've got the DVD ROM installed as you can see it's uh, quite a bit shorter than the old one and uh, before I close this machine up again which is actually <laughs> uh, quite a task sometimes uh, I think I'll show you a little around the motherboard uh, here we have a very dusty uh, CPU cooler and heatsink and I <coughs> also put a new battery in the uh, the motherboard as this machine is 15 years old I <laughs> probably don't think it had a lot of charge left um, other than the dust this actually seems uh, pretty nice this board it hasn't got any bulging capacitor as, as far as I can see um, it is a small form factor and as you can see there isn't uh, <coughs> a lot of room for expansion it only has two uh, PCI slots I decided to yank out the CD burner because it was uh, proving very difficult to close uh, the cabinet again <coughs> and uh, the drive uh, was rubbing up against these wires so uh, I decided to pull it out well, <coughs> because when I have a DVD burner in it I really don't need a CD burner also uh, this also lets you see uh, the Excel store 30 gig hard drive uh, there's a date code on 2002 alright this machine apparently is uh, uh, newer than I thought <laughs> well I got it uh, put back together but uh, one thing is sure Asus uh, doesn't win any prizes for ease of service on this system this uh, hinge drive bay is really a kind of a pain to get back together uh, and you're always worried that you have uh, <coughs> crushed some cables in, in the process but it's actually a quite interesting design uh, here is the power supply unit <coughs> which also is situated here in the drive bay and uh, I think that's actually one of the smallest power supplies I've ever seen alright now I'll see if uh, I can bring the terminator back Oh, it fires up. <clears throat> Alright, uh, it seems that uh, since I've placed the battery it lost 
date and time I'll have to do something about that one moment but as you can see installed memory 1024 megabytes so it, it found the RAM well I got the time and date set and also I've configured the, the boot so hopefully it will boot off the DVD drive uh, but I'm kind of wondering if it's actually able to do that but, but because what I have in mind of installing on it it, it uh, requires a DVD so uh, <laughs> that'll be quite funny to see if it actually can do that <laughs> well I know I'm kind of optimistic uh, to see if I can get this to work but uh, actually uh, this machine with the upgraded RAM should, should support Windows 10 as it has a minimum requirement of 1 GB of RAM and uh, a 1 gigahertz, gigahertz processor and uh, it's got that uh, I think I'll try and uh, stick it in and uh, see if I can get this Lubuntu crap off my computer now I've got the Windows 10 DVD inside the DVD drive and I'll see if I can make it boot up from the disk Yes, let's see. <laughs> it actually is. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, something is happening. That's for sure. Apparently, it seems that this system isn't quite ready for Windows 10. Uh, it has been sitting like this for the last uh, 10 minutes and. Uh, nothing seems to be happening the hard drive and the DVD drive doesn't seem to work at all uh, I'll give it one more try but <laughs> then I'll think I'll find my Windows XP installation CD now I found my Windows XP CD and uh, I'll see if I can make it uh, boot from that or if this hardware actually is too old to boot from a DVD drive but we'll have a try Well, it seems <laughs> quite a bit more happy with this. Install Windows XP Presenter, yes. I accept the terms in the license agreement. Um, and I think I'll delete these partitions before installing. Yes, as you can see, uh, my 30 gig hard drive is actually only <laughs> 28 and a half gigabyte. And now I'll try installing Windows XP. Yes, uh, and format the hard drive. That will take a little time. All right, it looks like we're almost there. 99%, 100%. Installation is now copying files. And now we are almost finished copying files. And let's see what comes up next. It's actually been quite some time since I've done a Windows XP installation. Press Enter to reboot. And Windows XP is back. Well, uh, 
that mouse po po pointer is easy to see. Installation will be completed in about 39 minutes. Well, I ran into a bit of a snack. I got the, the blue screen of death in the middle of the installation process. Uh, it states an error code, error code, which I believe relates to this old sound card. So uh, I'll try and yank this out and see if I'll have uh, better luck with the installation. Well, I pulled <coughs> pulled this ca sound card out. Uh, I think this is uh, the culprit of why I can't uh, finish my Windows XP installation. Um, hopefully this will work and I'll try uh, turning on the computer again. Installation reinitializing. Installation will hopefully be completed in 39 minutes. Well apparently removing the sound card didn't uh, uh, help this problem. Uh, it still stopped while Windows XP was trying to install the units. Uh, I don't know what is wrong with it. Maybe it's those uh, Chinese RAMs that doesn't function. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to test the RAMs with Memtest 86. As far as I can tell, uh, the RAM seems to be okay. I think I'll try and uh, make a fresh new install of Windows XP and see if that will solve the problem. I finally got past Windows installing units. Uh, what I did was I went into the BIOS and disabled the onboard audio entirely. Uh, it uh, seems to be that it has a problem. Uh, I might end up installing the old sound card again. Alright, let's move on in the installation process. Name Next And now for the Windows product key but you won't get that I told you I'd be back. <laughs> well, it seems the Terminator is finally going to boot into Windows. And welcome to Microsoft Windows XP. Now I'll see if I can actually activate Windows. No, I don't want to register with Windows. Thank you, you have now activated your copy of Windows. Well, I went ahead and downloaded the Windows XP Service Pack 4 unofficial uh, release. Uh, this should uh, in let you enable to get uh, updates for the POS ready system uh, even if uh, the support for Windows XP is, has been uh, revoked. So I've proceeded with yet another Windows installation. Apparently the unofficial service pack 4 only support English language, so now I'm installing an English version of Windows XP Professional. Well, it seemed I had better luck this time. I'll try and see if I can install the service pack. Well, it seems this is going to be a long video. I have installed the Windows Service Pack 4, but uh, for some reason I'm not able to get updates for it. Uh, I think I'll maybe try uh, to see if I can install Windows 7 and then maybe upgrade that to Windows 10. I got my uh, Windows 7 32-bit uh, DVD 
in in the drive and it's I'll see if I can make it boot up on this one. At least I got a little bit further this time than I did with the Windows 10 installation disk. It looks like it's trying to load the files. Well, it actually seems to be doing something. I got to the setup menu this time. That uh, must be a progress. Well, it might look like uh, it's going to see succeed in installing Windows 7, but I'll try and continue. Now it actually looks like we are getting somewhere. <laughs> it's uh, trying to start Windows 7. Setup is updating registry settings. And now it's trying to uh, complete the installation. <laughs> now we are really making some headway here. It actually seems that uh, this old machine, which originally came installed with Windows 2 2000, is going to run uh, Windows 7. I think that's uh, quite exciting. And here we have it, a Windows 7 desktop on this old computer. As you can see the CPU usage is quite high at the moment, but of course that is to be expected. And here we have the Windows Experience rating. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, this machine doesn't uh, get that high a rating. Uh, the graphics uh, is as low as 1.0 and uh, the processor and RAM's uh, score 2.3 and <laughs> the old hard drive uh, is uh, the highest with 4. I went ahead and installed the service pack 1 for Windows 7 but in spite of that, I think I have uh, by now uh, downloaded and installed about uh, 300 updates after that. And uh, <laughs> uh, now it's showing it has never been updated, but that's uh, wrong. And maybe that's the biggest stumbling block for using uh, a machine this old for this kind of system. Um, but it's a funny, a funny experience anyway. And I hope now that I'll get the offer to upgrade to Windows 10, as this is lighter on uh, the system resources as Windows 7. But uh, maybe that's something for a future video. <laughs>